Welcome to the final episode in our series on designing digital business cards to help you stand out from the crowd when you're networking for your business. My name's Kitty Apalaskas. I'm a craft-based designer, content creator, and Adobe Express ambassador. In this series, we have been exploring how to use Adobe Express as a tool for designing digital business cards and even for generating QR codes themselves. If you are a small business, product-based business, freelancer, or just starting out, this is definitely the series for you. So make sure you jump back and check out the previous episodes if you haven't already, and hit subscribe to this channel for more great Adobe Express tips and tutorials. In our previous episodes, we've talked about how important it is to form meaningful personal connections as a way to network and grow your business. We also learned how to use QR codes with digital business cards and how to design beautiful eye-catching digital business card designs using remixable templates within Adobe Express. In this episode, I'm gonna show you how to design another business card option, this time from scratch without using a template. And we'll also chat about what kinds of information is important to include in a digital business card design. I'm really excited about this, so let's jump straight in. From the main dashboard, we're going to hit the plus button on the left to create a new design. For this one, I think I'll choose Instagram story size for my document because I wanna try a simple design for this digital business card. And I think the Instagram story ratio will work really well. I'm a maximalist designer at heart, but sometimes simplicity is best, especially when trying to convey a variety of information in a small image like a business card. While I am gonna choose a loud background to make my card stand out, I am going to keep my text and logos simple and as easy to read as I can. I'm using a background file from one of my Creative Cloud libraries, but there's heaps available to choose from as well. The next thing I'll do is pop in my logo using the brand tool on the left, where I've uploaded all my different logo variations. I'm going with the plain black version of my logo to keep things simple, alongside a logo portrait of myself so the business card recipient remembers who I am. But you can use a photo here if you wish. Another important thing to include on a business card, in my opinion, is your tagline or a short description of your brand. I've changed the text to my brand font and I'm using the text alignment tool to make my tagline curved so it fits nicely around my portrait. Next up, let's add a one-liner welcome to our business card. This isn't necessary, but I like to include it to be friendly and personable. I'm going to write nice to meet you and then highlight the text with a shape effect to make it stand out. Now for our important contact info. You want to make sure to include a variety of ways for someone to connect with you so they can choose which type suits them best. I'm including my phone number, my email address, my website, and my Instagram handle. Make these nice and big so they're visible when the recipient opens your card up on their phone. And finally, we're going to add in a black version of our QR code that we prepared in the last episode. As a reminder, it's linked to a version of this business card stored in Google Drive. When the recipient scans the QR code, they'll be taken straight to the stored card image, which they can then save to their phone. When you're done, download your image as a PNG file and send it to your phone. As mentioned in the last episode, I like to prepare two different versions of the business card design. One with the QR code, which is stored on my phone for me to pull up and show to others. And one version without the QR code, which is stored on Google Drive for the recipient to save. To prepare my second design, I'm just replacing the QR code with a decorative icon from the shapes library on the left. My designs are now finished and ready to use. 
That brings us to the end of our mini series on designing digital business cards. I hope you are excited to now go away and design your own fantastic digital business cards and then take them out into the world to meet people, network and grow your amazing business. If you feel like sharing, let us know your top networking tips in the comments. We would love to hear from you. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.